Welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Today we're going to do a video on the stinging nettle plant. Uh, here in Minnesota they grow pretty much everywhere. Not way up north, but around here where we're kind of cent central Minnesota. Um, they are everywhere and they definitely do sting. Uh, I'm going to take and run that video up so you can see them close up. We're going to make a, we're going to steam them and we're going to boil them today so we can try the tea and see how it is. Now these are the younger plants and we're not going to deal with the stem. Which so here you can see what the plant looks like. There is no poisonous look-alikes. And if you're out there and you want to know, boy, I wonder if that's stinging nettle, put your arm in there. <laughs> You'll know immediately. It's got little hairs that have acid on it that, that um, pokes you and it's, it's uncomfortable. One thing to keep in mind when you're picking these, you want to wear a leather glove or a, or like I have these, just like a cotton or whatever kind of glove because if you wear a, a plastic glove like a surgical glove or something like that that you buy in the store there, it'll sting right through that. But one interesting thing I see right here, we've got a really nice, let's see if you can see that. Here's a really nice plantain plant right here which we've already done a video on. But if we yank up the plantain here, and if we can break this loose and get this crushed up, so we're getting some juice out of it, I will take and do this. You can sting yourself. Oh, that does it. You can feel it immediately. <laughs> and now you're supposed to be able to take this crush it up like this, the plantain, rub it on there, and that is supposed to neutralize it. I hope so, because I hate that when I get stung. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. We'll see how that works. Alright, so we've got our, our greens here, our stinging nettles. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but right here is where I hit myself with that plant, and you can see how it if you can see that, I don't know. But anyway, it swells up like if you get a, a bee sting, sort of. But And I'm surprised that I put that uh, plantain on there, and it does not itch or hurt at all, which is amazing, because my whole entire life, whenever time I get that, you're talking an hour or so, at least, of being uncomfortable. So it does work. So, all right, we're going to get these washed up, and then we're going to steam them, and we're going to boil them. Fill this can up to use as my steamer. I'm going to throw some of it in here and we'll boil it up. Make a little tea. See how that one turns out. Okay, we're just letting our water boil. Oh, look what we got here. What does that time say? 10.55 in the morning? And look at my little taste tester. It just rolled out of bed. Zach. <laughs> We're doing some stinging nettles. Oh. I'll have some cooked up for you in a minute. Well, we've got our water up to a boil. So we're going to take and put some of these in for steaming. I figure this is kind of like doing spinach. Most of the greens like this are going for like three minutes. I'm definitely going to do five minutes because the heat is what gets rid of that stinger part. And Unless I want to eat plantain right after eating this, I'd rather make sure it's done right. So let's that in there for steaming into the cover. And we'll put some in here. Boil this up for the tea and we'll try and just boil. Now they're supposed to be a little bit more not as tasty boiled as they are steamed, but we'll see. Okay, so these have been steamed for about five minutes. See what they look like. They're wilted. 
They still look like they're going to make me itch. <laughs> but it's time to give these a try. Well, here we've got our three kinds. These are these two are steamed. This one was boiled just in the water, and I still have some in the pan that we're boiling up to try the tea. Now the recipes say to put a pat of butter on these. Makes it much better. So we're going to try it with butter on those. We'll try it just the steamed way, and then we'll try it just the boiled. So that would be much easier to do when you're out in the, in the woods. Yeah, I'm going to try the boiled one first. How's it taste? It's not bad. It doesn't taste bitter at all. What do you think? It's kind of mushy. mushy. It's kind of like spinach, but... Yeah. Now these should be tougher, these ones here, so... These ones are more like, um... Those plants we pick that are on like the side of the road randomly. Those they look like clovers. Which ones? The clover like things. Oh. Like yeah. That wasn't too bad. Let's try the butter one. <laughs> I don't think the butter adds anything to it. Mm -mm. I think it actually makes it kind of not as good. So, from what I heard, when you boil them, they weren't supposed to be that good. I thought the boiled ones were great. Yeah. I liked it better than the steamed ones. Well, there we go. That's a stinging nettle right there. And in a little few minutes here, we'll do the tea. Okay, I think this is ready. Try it two different ways. You can do this straight, or they say you can add some sugar to it if you have a sweet tooth. We're just going to try it both ways and see what we think. So I'm going to let this cool down for a minute, and then we're going to give it okay, a try. Okay, so now we're ready to give this a try. Let's try it with nothing first. It's pretty rich. It's got like a deep flavor, kind of like a dark green taste to it. Yeah. I don't mind that at all, but it does taste like you're drinking the plant. It kind of smells like fish. Does it? Oh, it does have kind of a fishy smell to it. Yeah. Huh. All right, let's try it with some a little bit of sugar. I'm going to put yours in before I get it wet. Either way, it's good, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of like it just plain. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Well, there we have it. What did we learn today? We learned how to do it steamed, uh, boiled. I like the boiled best, did you too? Just the boiled. And the tea. The tea is supposed to be really, really good for you. There's just tons of medicinal uses by getting that infused inside of you. So. I hope so. No, oh yeah, and then with the nettles and with the plantain, it's it's tingly right now a little bit. Now it's probably been what almost a half hour, and it's kind of tingly, but there is no itch, there's no pain, um, and the swelling has went down now. So that was amazing. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.